welcome back to my channel sharp designs by lakeisha where i am designing my way through life and inspiring you to do the same so today i'm going to do a little setup i've been working on getting my craft room complete so that um well clean because <laughs> it was decorated it just got a mess um but i've been working on getting it cleaned up and i came across one of my favorite tablecloths that i have and i figured it would be perfect to do a shimmer backdrop diy for you guys so i'm going to do that and I'm going to um, add a balloon garland to it. Um, it's gonna be black, so it's perfect for Halloween, which is right around the corner if you're doing a theme party or anything like that. And you can also use it for like a um, Great Gatsby theme party or anything. The tablecloth that I'm gonna be using um, for the backdrop comes in multiple colors, so you can definitely, you know, get the color that you like and style it how you want. And if you are new to this channel, thank you so much for joining us and go ahead and subscribe so that you can join the designer family. And please do not forget to give this video a big thumbs up and comment down in the description box and let me know what you guys think to keep the videos coming. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. So stay tuned and I will see you guys in a bit. So for today's vlog, I am using some balloons. I've been working on getting my balloons organized and I started off by organizing them by colors and Ziploc bags. So I have some of my balloons here that I'm gonna be using for my garland. And then I also have this gorgeous shimmer tablecloth that I'm gonna be using for the backdrop. Hold on, poo-poo. And then I have um, these gator clips that I'm gonna be using to attach it to my pipe and drape stand, which is over here, ready to get set up. And Dakota is eating breakfast and she heard me talking to you guys, so she started saying hi, guys. Hi, guys. <laughs> All right, guys, so I have my tablecloths ready. The first thing I did was get my crossbar out and I'm just gonna get the tablecloth spread out so that I can see. <laughs> She thinks this is her channel. Hi. <laughs> Thank you, boo. Mommy is trying to work. Mommy has to get these vlogs out, baby girl. You need phone clothes, honey. All right, guys, so I have my crossbar out right here behind me and as well as my um, fabric I'm using for the backdrop. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and get it spread out. Um, to see how I'm gonna get it on my pipe and drape stand that I have hanging right there. And um, I'm hoping that this actually works. I came up with this idea and I think I just realized that this is a round tablecloth. So I'm gonna have to see how far down this goes. I may be still be able to maneuver the balloons around it to kind of finagle it, but let's see how this works out. So I'm gonna do this one first since it's gonna be on the back as the base i would use a plain black tablecloth um but i came across this one first so i'm gonna make this one work yes definitely round it would be perfect if it was square like the other tablecloth we're gonna see if we can make this work guys. So the next thing I'm about to do is take my banana clips and secure it across the top and I'm gonna get it hung on the pipe and drape and then I'm gonna secure it on the side. All right, so I'm gonna save as much of this. I'm gonna put it right at the edge. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna line the tablecloths up evenly. this looks guys I don't know I need a, a square one and I didn't realize this was round looks pretty though so this is what it's looking like right now guys I definitely need to adjust my banana clips or uh, what are they called shit I can't think banana clips at the top and then I'm gonna adjust this and get it all spread out nice and evenly I have more banana clips to do that with but I need to definitely get it spread out more. But if you can see the effect that I'm going for with the shimmer and how pretty it is, y'all. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so I have to get this fixed for you guys, so stay tuned. Let me finagle it some. I'm gonna probably do it off camera because it's probably gonna take me a second, but I'm just gonna adjust the clips and then pin them around the sides as well, and I'll show you guys once I'm done. So I managed to get the backdrop banana clipped onto the pipe and drape the best I could. I did it across the top and then on the sides. 
um, because it, like I said, this is a round tablecloth, it wouldn't go on there perfectly as a rectangular tablecloth would, but I think it looks pretty good. There aren't any wrinkles in it or anything like that. And over here in this corner, I'm not really worried about it showing because I'm just gonna bring uh, my balloons across and down the side here. And then I just kind of folded it up along the bottom the best I could because it's round, so it started to round in the corners. And so what I'm gonna do now is work on my balloon garland with you guys. balloons that are solid black balloons that I had left um, in my stash so we're gonna go ahead and get started with stringing the balloon garland first thing you're gonna need is your fishing line or you can use a regular balloon string I like to use the fishing line now and so you start off by taking one of your clusters which are these or dupes and you're going to tie the string around it I like to tie that first knot quite a few times just to ensure that it's, it is attached good because this is what is holding your garland together. Okay, so I think I probably did this about six times. Once you have your string on the balloon garland, you're gonna take a second cluster. I call this the existing cluster because it has a string on it and this is the new cluster. I'm gonna cross them over bring my string to the middle then I'm going to take the string and lap it over an existing cluster which locks them together and then I'm going to go around like a figure A around the existing back up to the top give it a slight tug and then I like to take it around one more time for good measure and that is what locks them on top of each other bring my new cluster in the front here so you guys can see it I'm going to bring the string over across the front to lock it in place. Once that's done, I'm gonna do a figure eight with over an existing cluster. So I'm gonna bring it back around this big one here. Bring it back up on top. Give it a slight pull. And I like to go around for good measure. So I'm gonna wrap it back around that original cluster. And as you can see here, it is in place. Now hopefully you were able to catch that. Um, it does take a lot of practice to get that technique down. You're not gonna learn it just from watching me. So go ahead and get you some balloons and just give it a try and practice, practice, practice if this is something that you want to accomplish. And um, as far as angles, if you want a really good angle, I did a couple different angles in a balloon garland tutorial I did a little while ago. It was the basic to designer balloon garland tutorial. So check that one out if you want a slow step by step on how to string your balloon garland together. Just wanted to give you a kind of a glimpse if you were new here to the channel on how I actually string it. If you're an oldie, then you already know that I'm using my figure eight method and literally the string is going just like you would write out the figure eight. That's all I'm doing. It's going over the new, back around and existing. I loop it back around, pull it, and then I wrap it around again for good measure give it another slight pull it's that simple so I'm gonna go ahead and finish stringing this garland together so we can get it hung and put together to see how this turns out so stay tuned
these are all 12 and 18 inch balloons i started off with a pattern of two 12 clusters and then a 12 and 16 cluster and i kept that going throughout alternating the sides that i put the 16 inch cluster on and then towards the end i ran out of double 12 inches so i did um 12 16 combo at the bottom so we're going to get it hung and see how it looks up on our shimmer backdrop all right, so I want the garland to go across the top here and all the way down the side so it'll do like a pretty flooding effect. I'm not sure if this is long enough, so I'm about to stand it up here to see if it's tall enough. So with the black balloons that I had, this is what I was able to do. It went around, so I still have this corner over here that I wanna fill. All right guys, so I blew up two clusters like this. I'm gonna add it to the backdrop to try to fill in the last remaining piece up here. And if you don't know how to do this, this is also in my basic to designer balloon garland tutorial. I've already tied my string onto it, so I'm just gonna go add it up here. I'm back. Um, I went and watched some TV with Coda, hung out with her for a bit, and I blew up my um, few clusters the same way I just did in my balloon hoop video so that you guys can see how that works. It's just, uh, I think these are considered 160s. I don't think these are 260s, but they're the longer balloons. And then I just mix and match the clusters. This is double chrome silver with black, and this is like a confetti. And then I have some that have um, a mixture of all of them. It's confetti, silver, chrome, and then this one's chrome and marble, so. It's just a variety. So I'm gonna show you guys how to put these on. I'm gonna start at the bottom and work my way up. So I'm gonna start off with this cluster here. And what you do is find a spot for where you want this one to go. I'm gonna put this one on the bottom. So you're gonna take your cluster and find where you want this first one to go. You're gonna have to kind of wrap the long balloon, garland, the long balloon around where you want it and just reposition it in place. And as you can see, this is pretty stressy, so you're just gonna then bring this one up in another location. I want it to be somewhere visible, so I'm gonna twist it back up this way and stick it there. And then I'll just do it again with a different one. This time I'm gonna come on the inside, have my next cluster. And I think I wanna put this double one here. guys so this is going to conclude our backdrop for today I actually really love how this came out for it to just be a random idea if I could change anything I would definitely use a square tablecloth instead of the round tablecloth you'll be able to pull it a little bit tighter to get that effect that you want for it to just be like a on a board and i love the color scheme this is perfect for new year so if anyone is having a new year's party come up you definitely should consider this even with some pops of gold that would be so pretty um but if you guys have, have any questions i think i pretty much answered everything down um today in this vlog but if you have any questions as always just comment below and i would do my best to get back this outro is definitely being filmed 
filmed uh, about <laughs> six days later and as you can see the balloons are still doing good I was a bit under the weather then Dakota got a cold recently so we're still in here recovering but I wanted to go ahead and get this vlog up for you because I was doing so good with getting you guys a few a week um, so trying to get back on track but see you guys coming soon and the holidays are coming up October is about to be done so look forward to some fun Christmas things coming up guys